Hello everyone. We will discuss Python in data science. Python is a versatile and powerful tool for managing and analyzing large datasets, making it indispensable for data scientists. Its simplicity and robustness have contributed to its popularity and widespread use in the field. With it, you can perform various data science tasks regardless of your experience level. Python's flexibility allows it to cater to a wide range of applications, from machine learning and artificial intelligence to data analysis and visualization. Its libraries and frameworks, created by the Python community, extend its capabilities making data science tasks more manageable. Moreover, Python's interoperability and its supportive community make it an ideal language for data science. Python's simplicity and flexibility make it a go-to language for many data scientists. Let's now delve into some essential Python concepts. Now we are using Jupyter Notebook for coding in Anaconda Navigator. This is the Anaconda Navigator. Now, starting with variables and data types. Variables are the building blocks in Python, and data types are their blueprint. Variables are used to store and manage data in a program. In Python, assigning a value to a variable is as simple as using the equal sign. For instance, if we want to store the age of someone named John, we might write, age equals 25 and name equals John. Python has several built-in data types that help classify and work with different kinds of data. These include numeric types for dealing with numbers, strings for textual data, booleans for true or false values, lists for ordered collections of items, tuples for unchangeable ordered collections, and dictionaries for storing key-value pairs. Let's talk about lists for a moment. A list is a versatile, ordered collection that can contain elements of different data types. Lists are mutable, meaning you can modify them after creation. For example, we could create a list of numbers like this, numbers equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With lists, you can perform a variety of operations. You can create a list, access its elements, modify them, and even remove them. Let's say we have a list called my underscore list with the elements 1, 2, 3, apple, and banana. We can access the first element by using my underscore list. If we want to change the second element to orange, we can simply write my underscore list equals orange. To remove apple from the list, we'd use my underscore list dot remove apple. We can also determine the length of the list with the len function. Tuples, on the other hand, are immutable. Once created, you cannot modify the elements of a tuple. If we create a tuple called my underscore tuple with the elements 1, 2, 3, apple, and banana, we can access elements just like we do with lists. However, if we try to modify an element, Python will raise an error. The length of a tuple can also be determined with the len function. Understanding variables and data types is crucial as it forms the basis for all Python operations.